Welcome to Miss B's Read Aloud. Today's book, What Do You Do With a Tale Like This? by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Hey Blue Devils, Miss B here again for another Read Aloud. Today I thought we'd mix it up a little bit and read a non-fiction story. Think about what non-fiction means. That's right, it means it's real and true facts. So today's book is all about animals and the special parts that make them really unique. So let's jump into what do you do with a tale like this? Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it is used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. What do you do with a nose like this? Can you tell what any of these animals are, whose noses they belong to? If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. Sounds nice. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. If you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. What do you do with ears like these? Hmm, whose ears are those? If you're a jackrabbit, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a bat, you see with your ears. If you're a cricket, you hear with your ears that are on your knees. That's cool. If you're a hippopotamus, you close your ears when you're underwater. If you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. What do you do with a tail like this? If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. If you're a lizard, you break off your tail to get away. If you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. If you're a monkey, you hang from a tree by your tail. What do you do with eyes like these? If you're an eagle, you spot tiny animals from high in the air. If you're a chameleon, you look two ways at once. If you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time. If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. If you're a horned lizard, you squirt blood out of your eyes. Ooh, yikes. What do you do with feet like these? If you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. If you're a blue-footed booby, you do a dance. If you're a water strider, you walk on water. If you're a gecko, you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. If you're a mountain goat, you leap from ledge to ledge. What do you do with a mouth like this? If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. If you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. And this shows all of the animals that were in the book and a little description for each of them. Pretty cool. So maybe you can think about your favorite animal that was in the book and maybe See if you can do some more research or find some more information. Let's see, I might read more about the hippopotamus. It says the hippopotamus is easily sunburned and spends much of its time underwater. These large animals, nine feet long and easily weighing 3,000 pounds, wow, live in Africa and graze at night on grass and other plants around the lakes and rivers where they spend most of their time. Hippos close their ears and noses when they go underwater. 
where they can stay as long as 30 minutes at a time. Wow, that's very cool. Thank you again for listening. I miss you all so much. Do a little animal research and see what you can find out. See you next time.